Hey boys and girls, welcome to Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection stream. I haven't done a stream on this game for a fair while actually. I've been uploading a lot of individual races and stuff, so let me just close my door a minute. Alright, here we go. Hell yeah. It's been a while since I've streamed this. I've been uploading a lot of individual fights like I said so it's a case of just thought it'd be nice to stream it for a little while hey Naomi how are you how are you it was my birthday yesterday oh my mom says hello by the way Oh yeah, it's that. There we go. Just checking my sign was on. How are things? You having trouble on sleeping as well? So am I. Oh, lover. You're so kind. Thank you. My mum says... My mum said hello earlier. Bless her. She's in bed. Um, I'm back to my place in the morning before I... Um, I've got to do a shift. I can't remember whether it's on Saturday or Sunday. I've got to run... I've got to run the uh, the unit that I'm in because we haven't got our supervisor in, so I'm not really looking forward to that, but yeah, they're good. Uh, what are you playing on your PS4? Ooh. Hey, Mr. Greedy Time, what's up? How you keeping, buddy? Hey, how's Forza Horizon 4 going? Forza Horizon 4. I personally think oh, Dark Siders, what a game. I need to get back into that actually. I love Dark Siders. I told you that before though, didn't I? Um, yeah, Horizon 4, well, the Horizon video game series to me is the best, fi they are the best races available. Um, I love Forza. Um, when I got my 1X, uh, it was five months ago. The first thing I remember saying to the guy in, in uh, the curry that I bought it, and he said, I turned around to him and I said, uh, uh, "Right, I've got to play. I've got to get Forza to play on the 4K." And he said, "If there's any game that shows off how amazing the One X looks, he said it's the, the new Forza." And he said, "Do you want me? Do you want me to quickly show you?" And I said, no, no, I want it as a surprise when I get home. And I went home and I put it on. I just got my, my new 4K TV and I put it on. And honestly, I don't think I've ever been blown away so much playing a game. I was I was looking at it going, my God, this looks... It, it just blew my mind. It was one of those moments in, in my gaming life where I was like, look at that. You know, it was phenomenal. It really is. I mean, I love my, my Gran Turismo games as well on, on the PS4. I love Gran Turismo. Um, it's a great, great gaming series. But Forza for me is, it's the new standard. It just, I absolutely adore it. Yeah, Darksiders is amazing, Naomi. Yeah, I, I adore Forza. I just I love my racing games, but Forza it's just it's on a it's in another league. They've really they set the benchmark so high. I, it's going to be really hard for anybody to reach it. It's like because Gran Turismo used to have that benchmark, and then Forza came along, and they did a more open world approach. And just everything they do with it is just amazing. Dark Side is great, isn't it? Uh, 
Um, yeah, I love Darksiders. I need to get back into it though, because I've got them all stored on my hard drive. I buy, I buy all my games digitally now. I really need to get back into Darksiders, because I used to love playing, I, I would play that game for hours, Darksiders. It's really like, you can't put it down. I think it, like, I always put Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, Darksiders. I always put them in the same bracket. Like, so like when I put my uh, adventure games like Tomb Raider and Uncharted in the same bracket, I always put Darksiders, uh, Devil May Cry, and the other one I just said, Bayonetta. To me, you know, you put them all together. I love, yeah, I absolutely love I really love um, Bayonetta. I don't know if you've ever played it, sweetheart. It's just, oh God, I love Bayonetta. It's just, oh my God. I could play Bayonetta all day. I just think it is one of the best games I've ever played. I love Bayonetta. People usually rate uh, Devil May Cry above Bayonetta, but I actually think Bayonetta is slightly better. I'll tell you why I prefer Bayonetta, because it's more arcade focused and I prefer my short, sh I prefer something that's a bit more kind of instant and I love Death of May Cry, don't get me wrong, but yeah my, my mum's feeling okay, she's a bit weak, bless her, she went to a real effort to stay up yesterday and for my birthday and she's been lovely. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to, are you getting one, Mr. Greedy? I can't wait for it. Just to play Ridge Racer Type 4 and, ah, oh, it's going to be amazing. I'm more interested in that than I am the SNES Mini. And I, I, I ended up buying the SNES Mini, but the, this, this one's more my, and I love the SNES, SNES and N64, you know, they were my childhood machines. But I've got to say, I'm really excited about this. Who shall I go for? Zangief! Yeah, it's gonna be brilliant. What a Christmas present that'll be. Ready, round one, fight! Well, I remember playing all these classics on the PlayStation 1. And I was like, I loved it when these came out on the PlayStation 1. Ridge Racer was my first. Ridge Racer was my first introduction to the PlayStation. I remember it came with a demo disc, and I used to love playing it in the arcade. And I remember hearing about the PlayStation and seeing screenshots of it, and I thought, nah, it's not going to be as good as the arcade version. And then I saw it, and I was like, wow. Like, that was it, I had to have a PlayStation. Yeah, the SNES, what a great machine that was. My era grown up was the Super Nintendo and the PlayStation 1. They were the machines that I remember looking back on and thinking, you know, what a shift that was from the SNES to the PlayStation. Both brilliant machines and I love the N64, that was a great machine. The Dreamcast. So many amazing machines that have come out. The only machine I ever bought that I didn't like that I bought, and I don't know if you guys remember this, it's a really unknown machine. It was the Philips CDI. And it was the first, like, oh shit. 
um, it was the first FMV machine. Like, it had like perfect quality FMV, not like the kind of stuff you saw on, on the Sega 32X, but it had like really crystal clear, and I had Mad Dog McCree on there, and it looked amazing. And Mad Dog McCree was great because you could play it, you know, like you could in the arcade. And it was cool to have FMV games, but that was all it did. Yeah, the PlayStation Classic is going to be, it's going to be classic. There's so many, oh, I'm really looking forward to playing Ridge Racer Type 4. Do you know what I can't wait for is to open it up and for it to go, you know the old PlayStation sound? I love that sound of the, the PlayStation loading up. I really miss that sound. Um, oh, thank you, Christopher. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Bless your heart, mate. How are you keeping? We're just talking about the original PlayStation uh, loading up sound where it went. I wish Sony would bring that back, like do an updated version of it. Oh, that'd be lovely, Naomi. Thank you. You're gonna do it like in the, in the style of um, what's her name, Marla Marla Monroe. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Yeah, the N64, man, what a great machine that was. My favorite, my favorite game on the N64 was Mario Kart 64. It was just incredible. I, I honestly, I still think Mario Kart 64 is the best Mario Kart. And I got Mario Kart Deluxe on the Switch, which is a great game, don't get me wrong. And it is, and objectively that is the best Street Fighter game ever, best Mario Kart game ever made. But there is something about, and this is not just nostalgia talking, well, maybe it's slightly, but Mario Kart 64 is amazing.
Also, does anybody remember Diddy Kong Racing? What a game that was. Some people preferred that to Mario Kart. I personally didn't, but... Another great game on the N64, guys, was Star Fox 64. Ah, wow. I downloaded that on my Wii U and I've got it on my Wii U hard drive uh, and Mario Kart. I've got all the Mario Karts as well. But my god, Star Fox 64, that's aged really well. It looks, still looks amazing, Star Fox 64. Remember, does anybody remember the secret route in Diddy Kong Racing on the snow level? Like, there was a shortcut, which they brought back from the old Mario Kart on the SNES, where you could, you could finish the course without even doing the course. So what you did was, on the snow course, there was like a, there was a mountain on your left. And if you timed it, like it was really hard to time, if you timed it right with a boost, and then push left really hard, you could go into like a mountain, and there was like a, a an invisible wall. And it would take you right to the, the to that really mad U bend, which is the other side, and then you go around and you go back straight back to it. That's it. I I love doing that. Well, I couldn't really do it, but I used to get my friend to do it for me, and then he'd hand the control over to me. But oh man, this is one of my favorite. Look at this. This is one of my favorite backgrounds, guys. Background in this. Look at this. This is Final Fight. Because there's Hagar. There's uh, Cody. All the people from Final Fight. Which they really re need to re-release on... Uh, I wish they'd re-release Final Fight on the uh, PS4. Yeah, Diddy Kong was a great game. There was a lot of good races. You know, another... <laughs> A game I loved on the N64, nobody else liked it, was Cruising USA. Because I used to play that in the arcade. When I was at college, I used to play that in the arcade <laughs> every lunchtime and pretty much in my lessons as well. And it used to have the Ultra 64 logo come up. So um, I remember that. This is before the N64 came out, and in the arcades, it would say using uh, coming soon Ultra 64 which is what the N64 was before, and it was like silicon graphics. Where everybody's like, oh my god, this is amazing. But uh, that isn't what it was, ended up being, ended up being the N64. Ready? Get in. Ooh, installed SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy update file. My hard drive, uh, I've got a terabyte hard drive on the on this Pro, and it's all fighting games. I've got <laughs> Street Fighter, obviously this collection, then I've got Street Fighter 4, 5, uh, I've got Tekken, I've got King of Fighters uh, 14, I've got King of Fighters 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, I've got um, SNK Tag Team Frenzy, I've got Chaos Code, I've got some really obscure ones, I've got Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, um, Dead or Alive 5, um, Dragon Ball Z uh, Fighters, uh, what else have I got? I've got all of them. I think I've got pretty much every fighter going. I don't think there is a fighter left I haven't got. I've got Samurai Showdown. I've got um, Art of Fighting. Uh, I've got The Last Blade. Uh, I've got a really un some really unknown SNK ones, as well as the ones I just mentioned, like really obscure ones. Galaxy Fighters, which is like one that nobody ever heard of. Um,
Yeah, Mario Kart 64 and, and Diddy Kong Racing, they were great, weren't they? I always remember um, there was this big like rivalry between people who loved Diddy Kong Racing more than um, Mario Kart. I loved, I mean, I loved both of them. I think I was more of a Mario Kart fan, if I'm honest, but I always have been. I don't think there's a, a, a racing series that touches Mario Kart, honestly. I, I really don't, even to this day, I think, I think it's still the best. Ah, oh, you bastard. Hey, Cal, how you keeping, buddy? Hey, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to Collectibles, um, he gives away prizes on his channel and they are amazing like because he used to work in a comic shop so he gives away like proper brilliant prizes um like I'm, I'm not talking about cheap crappy prizes i'm talking about amazing prizes <laughs> the guy like gives away the kind of stuff you'd you'd win on like you know tv shows and stuff like it's really good Ah, oh, hell no. How did he get that? Yeah, this is Gre Mr. Greedy. He's been sat with me, and obviously you know you know Naomi, I think. Um, Naomi, she's a content supporter. She tries to get people... Um, uh, Naomi's lovely. She's so kind to me. She's lovely. And she's such a lovely supporter. She's got one of the best singing voices you've ever heard. Incredible. She should be on The Voice. My god, what's going on? What? Are <sighs> oh, you just responding to me your comments? Oh, you adore you, my friend. Oh, I adore you. Bless you. Cal's, Cal's a big Superman fan like me. Um, Naomi's just like heart of gold, honestly, she really is. And we were just talking about PlayStation, the original PlayStation with Mr. Greedy. Because uh, he was saying that the. He said that the. Oh my god, what? What the hell? Hey man, how's it going buddy? It's another one of... Max is another decent guy, he comes on every so often. I meant to ask you actually Max, do you like Fury Road? Because I love Fury Road. Just wanted to know what you think of it. Actually, I really like the Mad Max game in the PS4. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm DC all the way. Yeah, I thought Mad Max Fury Road was incredible. What a visual tour de force of the film that was. I love the colour palette on it. Yeah, I did. I mean, I love the original Mad Max. Mad Max 1 is one of my favourite movies of all time because I love I love George Miller's directing style. Like, it's just really raw and, like, kind of... Um, it's almost, like, homemade. That's what I love about it. It's, it's such a dark movie, the original Mad Max. But one of the reasons I love Mad Max 3 Road is that it mixes the kind of... the stylism of... of uh, 
of Mad Max 2. But it has that kind of rawness of the first one, but with just amazing effects. Get in. Yeah. You guys seen um, the trailer for Venom? See, I think that's going to be good because I like Tom Hardy. I just think Tom Hardy can Tom Hardy can do no wrong in my eyes. Tom Hardy to me is just. Oh shit! Oh, look at that for a finish. Get in. Oh, we're in the UK as well. Yeah, Naomi and I are in the UK as well. So it's like 10 to 5 in the morning here. What time is it for you, Cal? Look at this for a background, guys. Look, pure 90s brilliance. Look at that. I love it. I always get stuck on this. Like I got stuck in the last level. Ooh. Nine fifty PM. Yeah, it's four forty six. That's my girl you're talking about. She's also Minchy Max. Oh shit. Chun Li, I tell you what, she's so difficult to She's so difficult to beat in this Alpha 2. She really is. She's a tough character. Even on like the lower settings. Oh, Jesus. That's my girl. That's my, my mate John, right? He's, I, I go out like for a beer with him sometimes and um, <laughs> he's brilliant. Me and him, we love doing our impressions, but he always does like, ah, <laughs> oh, no, don't, come on, come on. Um, when whenever we see each other like if we're going out for a beer or whatever first thing we always say to each other and he got me into doing this is like <laughs> we'll always go hi girl what's up <laughs> oh shit yeah whenever we see each other we're always like being about and be, it'll be packed as well and we'll we'll really embarrass everybody else around us we'll go up to each other and go hi girl what's up mm -mm -mm. look at you girl oh you looking good girl <laughs> my mate used to call me um because my middle name is John my first name David middle name John and um, so he used to call me Dij so when I went for a job interview with his brother um, this is going back like 20 years ago before I got into the line of work I'm in now and uh, when he introduced me to everybody because I had a walk around in the job he actually thought my name was Dij so didn't realise it was just a nickname. And he turned around to me and he went, um, 
he said he said everybody went this is Dej I was like what because this is Dej I said what you mean as in what your brother calls me he goes what do you mean I said my name's not Dej my name is Dave and he's like I thought your name is Dej as in like you know kind of a foreign name and I was like no 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 that's just my nickname <laughs> Ah, oh, you. I'm doing terrible on this. Why? I always struggle with Chun Li on this it's Alpha 2. I don't know what it is. She's so difficult to beat. Have any of you guys ever played Alpha 2? It's a great game. But it's hard as hell. Like Alpha Three is nowhere near as tough as this, and Alpha One is a, Alpha One's a breeze to get through. You can complete Alpha One in one sitting, and I love Alpha. I love the Alpha series, but Alpha Two is the one where everything goes to pot unless you like you know all the combos and. Um, oh shit. Oh, it's alright, you don't have to go, Max. Stay here, buddy, it's fine. We all go with me. Look at this. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Hades. Is that... Oh, you live up in Manchester, Greedy. What part of Manchester do you live in? Manchester. You know what I mean, yeah? Map for it. So right. You know what I mean? Map for it. So me. You know what I mean? Map for it. Where have you been? Why? Do you need some more schooling? Like the lesson I gave Sagat? Sure, let's see your moves, show and tell. This is where I get my ass whipped for about 45 minutes solid now. Oh my god. Oh hell no. Damn. Oh, tame side. I know tame side. My, um... My cousins come from Oldham. Oldham. I love all I love Manchester. People are great up there. Cracking people. That's a terrible accent. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even doing Manchester now. I'm doing Yorkshire. Hang on a minute. Right? So, mate, right? that's Manchester, isn't it? You know what I mean? Mad for it. I like that kid. It's a great place, you know what I mean? Asienta, mate. Asienta, one of the best best places to be in the 80s, honestly. I was too young, but uh, that's what I heard anyway. Our kid. Our kid, you know what I mean? Right? Too mad, mad for it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mad for it. You know what I mean. Our nah, kid. The McVitie's factory. You know what I mean. Mad for it. Sound. Five, four, three, two, one. I love Manchester. People up there are lovely. Such good people. I love them. Warm people. Manchester's Mancunians. Kid. And I, and I, you know what I mean, Naomi? Sound, innit? I love that accent, it's great. Uh, I need to do this now. So, uh, uh, I love that. Uh. 
Damn. Get in. Hey, now I love those skull saxons. In. It's crazy they come from there because you're, you're a scout girl, aren't you? You see, sometimes I, sometimes I just love talking about her. Do you remember Brookside? Oh, my God, I don't believe it. It's great. Hiya, love. You're right, Clint, sweetie. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. You kicked me ass. Oh, no, right. Honestly, I love it. I love the Scout Saxons. Some of the people down there, right? Honestly, they're great. Honestly, but um, I, I've got a um, um <laughs> I've got a um, I've got a cousin who uh, who used to um, this is like his second cousin basically, right? And we used to go down there. We used to go down there, and it was great. Honestly, and we I remember when we were kids, we used to go. I can and Stanley. Who are they? <laughs> Milk. What's that you're drinking? Milk? Milk? Yeah. And Ian Rush says, oh, and my dad says, if I drink lots of milk when I grow up, I'll be good enough to play for Acker and Stanley. Acker and Stanley? Yeah. Who are they? Exactly. Give me some. No. Give me some. Damn. <laughs> You are funky. No, honestly, Manchester's great. I don't know why I'm doing a Liverpool accent for Manchester, but some of the best Manchester accents are in uh, Golden Nation Street. Some of the best. Uh, <laughs> Some of the best characters ever on a TV show are in Coronation. I love Coronation Street. I don't even give a shit. Like, if that makes me sad, I love Corrie. Because I love Manchester. Honestly, you live in the best place, Greedy. I love Manchester. Manchester City now is amazing. It's like proper electricized and everything. But yeah, some of the characters in, uh, in Corrie are fantastic. Oh, God damn. Yeah, remember, um, what was her name in Cory? Uh, remember Blanche? Man City. Man City. Yeah, you know what I mean? Manchester. Man City. City fans, you know what I mean? I don't know why I'm saying City. I was always a Man United fan. Maybe I don't really want to know how you got in gross Cause I just want to play lately Did you ever feel the pain in a morning rain? As the sun beats through the floor Maybe I don't want to be Maybe I just don't believe Maybe you're the same as me it's... Oh shit Concentrate Dev Stop singing bloody Oasis songs Christ Yeah, it's such a great song, isn't it? You and I are gonna live forever What a song I said maybe I don't really wanna know I got in the Cause I just wanna play Lately Ah, oh, shite Oh god, guys That is, um, um, 
Live Forever by Oasis. <sighs> A Manchester band, which is where Mr. Greedy's from. I'll tell you another, another Oasis song I love is, um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard this. This is on the original Definitely Maybe album. Um, it's called Digsy's. Damn. It's called Digsy's Dinner. Oh, Wonderwall. What a song. What a song. God, Wonderwall's an anthem. That's a great song, Wonderwall. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you just should have somehow realized what you're not to do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now And all the roads we had to walk away through And all the roads that lead us there are blinding There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Do, 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 do. What a song. Oh, yeah. I've never heard um, Wonder Wall by Ryan Adams. I'm going to listen to that, mate. I've never heard it. I've heard about it. I've never heard it. Is it really good, is it? Get in. Just need one more. Oh, Noel Gallagher's amazing. Noel Gallagher is it. I tell you, I, I've seen Oasis quite a few times now. I like... I like Liam Gallagher as a... on stage. Like, I think he's a... He's a great showman. I'm not saying he's a talented showman, but he's a good showman. I'd liken him to kind of Johnny Rotten, that kind of thing, you know. Some people, they're not exactly what you would call talented, but they have something about them on stage. Like... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I was so close. Love as hell, that whole album around Ram's. I'm gonna have a look at that. It's pretty much music and, and movies are my passion, and obviously video games, but um, music is my first love. Um, like I was saying to Naomi. Oh, I might have to check that out, actually. It's 79 quid, wow. He's <laughs> to see you next Tuesday. <laughs> I've started collecting vinyls. I'll show you some of my vinyls, actually. I've started collecting loads. Of, I've got some real retro vinyls from the 60s that my my late dad, um, my biological father, he left me, bless him. And I've got some brilliant stuff. I've got I've got some Frank Sinatra vinyls from like the 50s and the 60s albums, and they are in perfect condition. I've got a Led Zeppelin one from 1970. Oh God six and it is it, it's literally in perfect condition and my god it's one of the most stunning vinyl covers i've ever seen the inside of it is just it's like open a it's like an open a treasure map it's honestly it's amazing and i never really knew about them until i was about 18 and i was like oh my god i didn't realize my dad had such an amazing collection of records you know vinyls i love vinyls i love like that i hang all my vinyls up on my on my wall Squid, quid. <laughs> Over here we say quid. Squid. Yeah, some people say squid. Oh mate, is that seventy quid? Yeah, is that seventy quid? 
Yeah, 70 smackers, you know what I mean? Yeah, proper geezer. Bit like a snatcher, lock, stock and see smacker barrels. Squeer. You know what I mean? How are you? Lovely jubbly. <laughs> I was watching uh, Snatch the other night, I don't know if you've ever seen it, with Jason Statham. And they're on about trying to sell these guns to this like black market guy and he goes, he goes, he goes, it's a deal, it's a steal, it's sale of the fucking century, Mike. In fact, fuck it, Mike, I think I'll keep them. <laughs> Bullets. Bullets. I'm going for a walk. Yeah. Bullets. I'm going for a walk. That's right, Nikolos. <laughs> the bit where Brad Pitt he gets knocked down and then he gets back up he knocks him to the floor and he's supposed to um, forfeit the game Ooh. oh shit sleep deprivation is hitting hard today bless you I love, oh bless you, you poor thing. Um, yeah, one of my favorite scenes in uh, uh, Snatch is when uh, it gets back up and he goes, all he's got to do is stay down for another f five seconds. All he's got to do is do what we told him. And then he gets back up and then this camera freezes on Jason Statham and he goes, now we are fucked. <laughs> One of the best lines I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, another, the, um, I like the bit where he goes, uh, I like the bit where he goes there. Uh... Oh my god, this is gonna take me ages to beat. Um I like the bit where he goes, um Vinnie Jones, he goes <laughs> Goes You two must be the bulls. You must be big bulls. You must be big bull, you must be a little bull. And you must be the penis in the middle. <laughs> I love that scene. And it goes, that's a replica gun. Hence, it says replica on the side. Oh, Jesus, I told you I'd be honest. In ages. Oh, God. Hi, you love. You all right? Oh my god, I don't believe it. Rebecca Ferguson. I don't believe it. Honestly, what's going on? I don't believe it. It's my pleasure, Carl. Honestly, it's great. Honestly. So, uh, Rebecca, um, how's your new album come along? And it's great, honestly. Honestly, it's really opened up doors for me. Honestly, I feel great. Honestly, I really do. I love, I like Rebecca Ferguson. I'm not taking the piss. Like, I think she's got a great voice. Rebecca Ferguson. Honestly, I think she's great. I, lo I love that accent. It's great. Round one, 
Hey Naomi, do you remember um Do you remember Do you remember Blanche from Coronation Street? Deirdre's mom. The old lady. She was really funny. Ah shit. <laughs> I love you, Bertie. <laughs> For the love of God, stop. It's the... No, what was it? When I, uh, what's her name? <laughs> I love you, Bertie. For the love of God, stop. I loved that. Um, loved it when Blanche turned around and said... She goes, that Liz McDonald, she's got... She's got eyeliner as dark as her soul. Liz McDonald, she's got eyeliner as dark as a soul. <laughs> and I got then it was Deirdre. Oh Ken! Oh Ken! Ken, please don't no Ken! Oh Ken, I can't stop crying all the time, Ken! Oh Jesus, this is gonna take me ages. Oh The Kooks. I love the Kooks. She moves in her own way, yeah, what a song that is. That's They're from Manchester as well, aren't they? God you guys have got like the best bands, really seriously. You really have. Oh, come on, I just need one more win. Oh, she moves in her own way. Bit a bit of Monday, as a bit of Tuesday, as a bit of Monday, Autumn Day. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh, what about, um. This is an old school tune. Oh, no. I thought it was. Oh, no. You love music, fair play. I think one of the best tunes that came out of Manchester was There she goes, there she goes again Running through my brain The man won't say you away There she goes and she comes again. That Liz McDonald, she's got eyeliner as dark as a soul. Oh my god. I know I'm not the best player in the world, obviously, as you can see, but I swear to God, guys, Alpha 2 is so bloody hard. That's why I'm stuck in this last level so long. It's just... Jesus. Oh, bless you. 
Oh, thank you guys. No, I, I know most, I, I can understand why you hate soaps. I'm just a bit of a saddo. I love the Brit. I love, I love Cory. I just love watching Cory. It's just really funny. This is my mum. You know, she enjoys watching it. So when I come around and see my parents and cook them some food, it's usually on, so. I love you, Oh, what? No, no, I know that. Really. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're awesome as well. Oh, shit. God, please guys, let this happen. I think I found a way to beat this person, just do kicks. Or not. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. Oh God. Oh sweet Moses. <laughs> In the words of Chandler Bing. Oh sweet Moses. Oh come on. <laughs> oh how well you know me. Chandler turns around to me and says, Joey, Victoria's Secret model, jam of jar. Put your hands together. <laughs> Such a good life. Get in. Get out of my chair, Dill Hole. <laughs> yeah. Now my fa That's it, that is a great scene. My favorite Dill Hole. Get out of my chair, Dill Hole. Oh my god. My favorite scene in Friends. Oh my god. Jesus. Ugh. My favorite, my favorite scene of Friends by a million miles has to be Pivot! Pivot! And they're going up the stairs. I don't know what it is. That is one of the funniest scenes I've ever seen in my life. It's just, it's just them carrying a bug into tea up. But they must have had such a laugh doing that scene. It's, Ross is amazing in that scene. Pivot! Pivot! Oh my god, how the f did he win that? Hey Playmaker, I know what you mean, it's Fortnite everywhere isn't it now? P 
pivot? Oh my god. Shut up, shut up, shut up! <laughs> it's Chad Lewin, it. <laughs> Pivot! Pivot! Oh, one of my other favourite lines um, from Ross is when he turns around and goes, when uh, this isn't the first series, which I think the series one is the best, to be honest with you. It was really sharp scripts. Um, by series six onwards, they were relying more on like kind of visual gags and stuff, really. But uh, yeah, my favourite line from Chandler is is when uh, Chandler and Joey are taking the piss out of Ross, and they're saying like how much of a doofus he is, like how much of a geek he is. And like how useless he would be if um, they took him out and he was trying to chat up a girl. And they're taking the mickey out of him and he goes, That's painfully funny. <laughs> no, wait, wait, that's just painful. Thing is, the thing with Fortnite is, is that everybody's doing it now. Like, there's so many people doing Fortnite now that you, get, you really have to be doing something special to get people to watch your stream of it. I love Fortnite, actually. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. I do love Fortnite, but I... Um, the problem with Fortnite is it doesn't really make for an interesting stream. I mean, says the guy who's stuck on the last level of Street Fighter all the time. But it's a great game to play, but and it is a good game to watch. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that's the reason why it's the most streamed game in the world right now. But when it's so uh, there's such an overabundance of it, you you kind of end up. It just becomes a bit overbearing, really. I think it's not really the game's fault. I think it's just it's been overexposed now. It's like anything that gets really popular really quickly. You know, remember when Angry Birds was like going through, it's like everybody was playing it. i tell you a game I prefer watching, which I find much more interesting to watch, which is competitive. Um, yeah, everybody's doing the same streams, exactly. i tell you a game that I love, and I'm not just saying this because you stream it, Cal. Um, my brain's gone blank. <laughs> um, God, this is insane. You're just editing your vids on your laptop. Rocket League. That's what I enjoy watching. I love watching Rocket League. See, that's... That's enjoyable to watch, because it's short bursts. That's another reason why I love Rocket League, because it's, it's a short burst game, so it, it, it's something that you can dive in and out of. Whereas I find... Fortnite... You just kind of... You don't really know what's going on, unless you're playing it. It's... And again, I love Fortnite, don't get me wrong, I adore Fortnite. Come on, come on. I've got this. Oh, Overwatch. Overwatch is fantastic. I was sat watching... Uh, Cal stream of that. Oh, I might have this. Yes, yes, 
Yeah, it took me friggin' a year to get there, but I've done it. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, sorry to hear about that. Sorry about to hear that, Playmaker. I love your Joker, your Jester character. Yeah, I was just saying, Naomi, to Cal the other night, how amazing it, that game looks. Overwatch, I love the lighting in it. It reminds me of Time Splitters on the PS2. It has that lovely cartoony, like neon look to it. I love it. Love it. Cal does great streams. He's, he's like such a friendly guy. And like, well, like Playmaker does as well. Playmaker does amazing uploads. You should check uh, Playmaker does some really good edits. Oh, I finally completed it. Alright, let's go for some online games. You guys ever seen the original Street Fighter? Like the old original Street Watch, look at this, check this. 1987. I remember playing this in the arcades. What a game this was. It looks crap now, but this was a game. Street Fighter 1. The original Street Fighter it only had one character you could play, and if you plugged in an extra controller, Japan. Listen to the speech in this. Ah, oh, dude, this brings back memories. It's so hard to do. The, the Adukans were secret in this. Like, there was no way to actually know how to do them, you just had to guess. So, actually making them... <laughs> yeah, video. I tell you, Adobe is very good. That's a really good piece of uh, software. And you can find it quite cheaply now. Uh, greedy. I was nine years old when this game came out. Jesus, that shows how old I am. I remember this being like state of the art graphics. <laughs> hey, in my day, when I was a young lad. I wonder share from Aura. Yeah, but Pretty much sums up 80s games when it came to speech. Oh shit. There's no way I can pull this back, surely. Oh. 
Son of a bitch. You are not to learn before you do me. Sure thing, Kato. Where is the game that you're going to? Round one, fight! What kind of video editing do you want to do, Greedy? Are you talking about like um like intros or short movies or things like that? Or like do you mean like editing your videos together? Get in. Hi. Yeah, it does look like Sub-Zero, doesn't it? <laughs> That's Ninja. That was his name in the game. You know, this is the early days of video games. And Joe. They really went all out on the names in this game. Joe, who's pretty much Ryu, even though Ryu is in this game if you play it two-player. I know this game looks really crude now, and it is. But I love Street Fighter 1. <laughs> I love it. It's just it's so bad. It's good. It's like it's one of those games that it's lovely. It's like a time capsule. You go back and you're like, oh my god, Street Fighter's really like evolutionized. This looks like the level from Battlefield 1 in the background, yeah. Yes, it does. The train yard, yeah. Now this, this guy here, this is Mike Tyson, who ended up being Balrog in Street Fighter 2. But his original name was M. Bison. Because they, they were going to get copyrighted, because this was supposed to be Mike Tyson. Um, but this is in the days when people did stuff without getting copyright usage and um, so they didn't his name in Street Fighter 2 was going to be M. Bison but then M. Bison used to be called Balrog so they changed M. Bison to this guy uh, they changed M. Bison to the Balrog I'm confused now <laughs> this guy became Balrog but his name is Mike in this, as in Mike Tyson. That's why in the original Street Fighter 2, his name was Balrog. Oh, so you can edit my, your log videos. Oh, that's quality. Yeah, it's a good idea to have um, there's some, there is some great editing software out there. You've just got to find the one that suits you and makes, you, makes it easy enough for you to use. It's all about user friendliness when it comes to editing because, you know, um, I've used Adobe because I've got so used to it basically. It's no more complicated than that. But there's some brilliant ones out there, like the one that Kalel Kale was saying. Well, Stan, don't forget the many guys can go anywhere. Here we go, special stage. 
Okay, girl, come on, what you doing? Oh, shit. Yeah, just got it in time. Oh, no. This guy's impossible. Lee. There's a Great Wall of China in the background. This guy's so hard to beat. He just does mad. He's basically Mr. Miyagi. Danielson. What are you doing? Danielson, way. Danielson. Danielson. Come on, Danielson. Hey, that's it, Togo. Let's on, let's on. Hey, hey, what's in the water? Big YouTube, YouTube is you, uh, the YouTube is that are not monos and look for editing. Thanks for the sub, Naomi and Secure. I made a new channel, by the way. Sakura made a new channel. Oh yes, I know that. Yeah, Sakura Rose Gamer G, isn't it? She's great. She she's a talented young girl. She's got a lot of um, skills with her editing as well. She's and like a passion for video games and st uh, for fighting games. She's a she's got a, a lot of um, knowledge when it comes to anime as well. Like she's told me things that I didn't even know. I was like, wow, how does she know that? She knows real, like, intricate stuff about anime and stuff. Hey, new Blitz, how's it going? Just playing a jaded old classic. Get my ass in it to me. Ryo versus Lee. Ryo when he was a young teenager with red hair. There was two versions of the, the arcade machine of this guys. One was uh, the standard one with the, the buttons that you have in arcade machines. And the other one was an arcade machine, I can't believe it. The other one was an arcade machine where you used punch pads to punch in the game. So you actually punch the pad. I know it sounds crazy and it was, it didn't last because the machines used to get wrecked, but um, that's how Street Fighter started off, you had punch pads to play it. Don't, don't you do that shit. Oh, it's your birthday, is it, New Blitz? You just turned 24. It's my birthday today as well. Uh, last night. I wish I was turning 24. The kettle 81. Oh shit. I, w I will add you. I'm going to add you now. The kettle 81. Oh no, this is game. Oh yeah, my birthday was uh, September 19th. Oh, happy birthday, new blitz. And um... Have a lovely sleep. Um, have a l lovely sleep, Naomi, and thank you for your, your company and for being so kind. Yeah, it is. Well, it was my birthday yesterday. Oh. It's scary how old I am, though. Yeah, I will. Z. Oh, Z Kitty 81. Z Kitty 81. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, yesterday I could officially say I was in my 30s. Today, not so much.
Buenos. No he samurai mi nigo. Ishitu kura motor, ishitu kura motor, nangomi, ilakura mutsu shiti. Lakama shitrae kura motor shitabe no kore shitabo. Boniata, ilakama shitrae. Which means. Blah 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 Thank you for thank you for offering to sing for me and listen I'll give my mum your love. She thought it was really sweet of you to do that the other time. <laughs> I thank you, sweetheart. Love love to you as well and your family. I hope everything's okay. Um Yeah. It means a lot, thank you. That mean a lot to my mum, thank you. It's not gonna be she the wood or mirror or she to green or she to read it. A bonio, a gishima dramatic. Here we go, look, this is the first appearance of Birdie. The character from the Alpha series, look at this shit. It's Birdie, baby, that's the original Birdie, that, that's the UK, look. Blockage. And it's an English pub in the background, isn't it, you know what I mean? Bit of London. That's supposed to be a grotty London side street. And having lived in London for a little while, I can testify that's exactly what it used to look like. You know what I mean? Yeah, what you doing? Hey, come on. Oh, bloody hell. Lovely. Right, Ryu, Ryu, what's your name, Ryu? Well, it means a lot of Jesus, I wasn't even watching. Um, I know a really great piece of montage music, Playmaker. Have a lovely sleep, Naomi. I know a great piece of montage music and I want you to look this up. <laughs> Excuse me. None Shall Live bat from Battle Cry. It's, it's a piece of music called None Shall Live. And I'm gonna use it on one of my vids eventually. I'm gonna do like an intro to my channel. Um, but you need to check this out, it's amazing. I'm back! Christopher says, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm back! Yeah, None Shall Live from Battlecry. It is one of the best pieces of music. It's in the new Aquaman trailer. If you watch the Aquaman trailer, it's the piece of music in the background of that. It's a really epic piece of music. Meow. 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 stuck in that guy for ages. I'm back again. Yeah, noob. Um,
Yeah, playmaker. Look. Oh, Christ, it's Adon. Now, this one I will be stuck on for ages. This is the last two rounds I hit him in, then Sigat is after this, who I'll never beat. I've never beaten him, so. Oh, shit! beaten Adon that quick. This bodes well for Sigat. No, this is it now. This is the last guy. Well, sure, if we go for that, then many guys is already already a very story. Wait. Oh, shit. Here we go, Sigat. Sigat, final boss. He's gonna kick my ass. Oh, God, this fucking laugh. Honestly, Cal, this he's impossible to beat. He's just like... <laughs> All he does is... All... Oh my god. Oh my god. That was supposed to be ace. Never mind. Okay. Jump hits, maybe. I think you could be right. He just. <laughs> yeah, you son of a bitch. God damn you, Saget! He just annihilates you. If this is the game where he gets the, the mark on his chest, once you beat him, you give him the mark in the chest that he has in Street Fighter 2. This is how he gets it. This is like, um, it's kind of infamous for being one of the toughest ends of a game ever. Oh my god. Jump hits maybe, I'm gonna try that shit. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a bicycle kick. Here we go. You've got lots of land for you beat me, John. So I'm going to try this story. Don't jump. Don't jump! I'm not going to jump. Hang on. I'll tell you what I'm gonna try. Oh, fuck it <laughs> Guys, uh, I'll warn you in advance, this could be never ending. <laughs> I gave up at one point on this, and I don't usually give up on games, so I was like, man, I can't, I've never completed Street Fighter 1, ever. So if I complete this, this will be like a momentous moment. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's such a kind of ancient game, it's like the controls aren't the best in the world, obviously, so it's difficult to kind of, um, it's, when you jump, you kind of just jump straight and then sort of diagonally, there's no kind of like, fuck's sake, this is insane. <laughs> that, 
Jesus Christ. Insanity! Stop laughing, Sigur. Oh, jeez. Help me. <laughs> A two-hit kill. That's what you need. You need two uppercuts. Two uppercuts. Fuck. Jesus Christ, this would be so much easier if I was on the right side, because I, I find it much easier to do a Dukens on the right. Well, I'm really not trying to... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I know, hang on, I think I got this. <laughs> Kieran Spear, yeah. This son bitch, he... Ali, oh shit. Um, yeah, he does, he just tears you apart. He's just laughing at my patheticness in this game. Oh, <laughs> you're so crap. Which he has got a point. <laughs> that face is... This is old lady's game. Come on, man, give me a goddamn break. How you doing, Kieran, anyway? No, the gravity on this is... it's... it's, it's well off. <laughs> there is no gravity, you just gotta stay static, really. Oh, shit. That's it. Oh, my God. If I could just get two bicycle kicks in. Bicycle kicks, if I could just get two... My man, <laughs> shit. I mean, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. I hope you're well, Kieran. Hey, has you been playing uh, Battlefield 3? Oh, that's it. I did it. I, I did it. I got an uppercut and a fucking bastard beat me. Not the tiger knees, those are sore. Fuck! God! Damn! <laughs> yeah, tiger knees are sons of bitches, that's what they are. Tiger! Tiger knee! Okay. I'm gonna kick your ass. That's it. Come on, bitch. Eat my uppercut, bitch. Come on. Come on, bitch, baby. No, God. Damn, I was so close. <laughs> Shit. I mean... <laughs> Are oh, you updating your graphics card? Cool. No problem, Cal. 
Yeah, Shokan MK3. Oh my god. Shokan MK3. What a bastard. Literally, I wasted £10 in the arcade on that game. No, it was more. It was like 15 quid. Just to try and beat him. I couldn't do it. And I still didn't beat him. Shokan is a bastard. Oh, you are You're kidding me. <laughs> I just need a lucky break. Could you? I could never beat him. Oh god, I think I'm, I'm close to it. I think I can do this. I've never beaten Shokan. Reptile, he was quality. I loved Reptile. I like Mortal Kombat XL. It's such a brilliant game. Yeah, god, Mortal Kombat 3. That was. Do you know that was the only game, the only fighting game that ever got 100% rating? That's a fuck. It's a little known fact. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, you can. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm trying to uppercut, but it's really difficult because um, there's a. Because if you get um, a show you can in it, um. You can take off all his, his energy. In, well, you can, in two Shurukens, you can take off all the energy in Street Fighter 1. The, the, um, the special moves were hidden in the original game. Oh my god. I'm losing my sanity here. Oh shit, here we go. Come on, come on, bitch. Get your ass over here. Get your ass. Come on, bitch. I did it. I fucking did it. One more go. Come on. Shinoko dai sunokoto. Shinoko shitaru kimete. Don't you. Don't. Don't you. Motherfuck. Motherfuck. Oh, thank you, Kieran. I'm sorry I'm sucking so bad. I promise you this is just really tough. It's a combination of me being bad and it's the most impossible. And that laugh starts to kind of drill into your brain. It's like Chinese torture. Oh my god. I need a show you can. If I could just jump over him, I could do a show you can. No, I'm gonna try something else. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, you take it home. Get me. <laughs> oh, bless you, mate. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, he can Hadouken. I'm, I'm doing the Hadoukens. It's, uh, the Hadoukens are no problem. I don't know if you can see them when I'm doing them. They're very short. 
you can hardly see them in this game. They're, they were hidden originally, like you'll see. Ah, oh, they're... There we go. Fuck, I got to the other side. That was just two hits. Oh. See? See, I can do it so much better on that side. If only I could start on that side. Oh my fuck. <laughs> Christ, don't <I> die. <laughs> Oh my god. I just really want a complete Street Fighter 1, that's all I want. I don't want much guard. Please. Oh my god. This must be torture for you guys to watch. I understand if you wanna like bow out and shit. Oh my god. Sicking everything. <laughs> Rocky montage that will get me through this. Oh my god. Oh my god in heaven. I hate you, Sagat. This game makes you literally hate the man. I mean, I... I, I Oh my god, no, no, surely not. Oh, for <laughs> flank. It ain't often I, you know, I mean, I get like, you know, just. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I mean, what the hell? I'm gonna bust your ass wide open. No, I ain't. I mean. Sagat and everything you got. Everything you got. All your love, all your hate, all your love, all your hate, all your power. I love Reaper. Shit.
Oh, fuck. You clutched. Oh, Reaper. Him. Yeah, I'll be in a mental home by the time I beat him, but I'll literally be just thinking <laughs> Gotta beat the get, gotta beat the get I mean Fuck you, Sagat. Fuck you, Sagat. Fuck you, Sagat. Fuck you, Sagat. Look at his punk ass face. Just fucking mash the buttons. I mean. Where's Makata Matsuki when you need him? <laughs> I'm still on this car. I'm still on it. Drinks the car. Now, all I'll hear is. That's all I'll hear. Tiger. You f I'm gonna kill him. Seriously. Whoever made this game, whoever decided on the difficulty level on this last level, I'm gonna. I'm surprised we're still awake. <laughs> yeah, hell, man. I mean, shit. I'm surprised you guys stayed around. Oh my god. 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 You guys are unbelievable staying around for this shit. I mean, I love you all. What the hell's going on? Oh, for fuck's sake. guys have the patience of Mother Teresa. Don't you... Don't fuck that shit. I like what you are, bless you. Where's the cake came home <laughs> when you need it? Yeah. Oh, bless you, Greedy, thank you. God Oh my god, I'm having a freak out. I'm going back to the days when I used to go nuts. <laughs> oh god. In the words of George McFly. <laughs> I 
I'm just kind of fun. <laughs> Shit. Please, man, come on. What you doing to me, man? Shit. Get mad. God, son of a bitch. Dad, see like I did the uppercut, look. Looking, uh, 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 Get mad. Let's get mad. Come on, bitch. Let's get mad. Let's get mad. Come on, bitch. Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> Why is she got to go to the Why are all these people? I mean, I mean, this shit. Okay. Alright. Alright. Come on. You want to do this shit? Let's do this shit. Come on. Come on, bitch. Come on. Come on. Let's do this shit, bitch. Come on, come on. Come on, bitch. Come on. God damn you, son of a ball that has added bitch. I mean look, he just he just steps on me basically. If there's a lesson in this, boys and girls, it's don't ever stream Street Fighter 1. Had him look. Just as you are, my decision of time to keep dying. Bust your ass. Bust your ass. Come on, bitch. Come on. Bitch ass motherfucker. Come on. Oh, shit. Why don't you just step on my ass? <laughs> bitch! <laughs> Stop, bitch! <laughs> I mean... Superman, why don't you help me, man? Come on, Superman. Little pop vinyl ass, Superman. Why don't you go do this shit for me? I can do this shit. God damn. Come on. Oh shit. Shit. Thank you, Playmaker.
have a lovely sleep. Why don't you just sit in there, do a spinning kick? Took you 12 hours to complete the first mission, GTA 2. Oh, you play GTA, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 you can get that though in games like that, because it, it gets so complicated. Watching a man lose his fucking shit online. <laughs> Have a good sleep, playmaker. I think I'll be literally cut away soon. like you and making a fortnight of it yeah I feel bad for your promise but so it did fuck 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 well living When you wash your back, you'll be able to laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. It's all good. Oh, it's 
respect my family. Let me a bone, huh? Come on, let me a bone, huh? Come on. I'm making an offer that kind of feels... Uh, come on, let me a bone. Oh, I'm making an offer that kind of feels... Huh? I'm making an offer that kind of feels... I don't know, huh? I'm looking after the ball, you gotta blow your man, but it's not the... Who you... I don't think I had destroyed my PlayStation, you understand what I'm saying? I don't understand what's going on. Oh, yeah, pull this out, you know? I don't know, what's going on? Help! <laughs> I'm losing my mind here, you know what I'm saying? I'm losing my mind. That's it. What are you doing? Come on, come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on. Ah, oh, there you go, there you go. That's it. That's it. Bitch ass motherfucker. That's it. That's it, motherfucker. This is shit. Alright. I'm gonna bust your ass wide open now. Come on, bitch. Don't you kick your ass. Don't. Shit, don't you go. That's it. I did it. I fucking did it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I love you, boys. I love you. I fucking love you standing by me. Give me all this shit. You ass that the best now, you the strongest in the world. Baby, I love you. Shit. Oh shit. This is emotional, like, I love you. I love all you guys standing by this shit. Yeah, shit. I did it. Oh, I love all of you, man. You have earned the distinction of king of the hill. But remember, you have no time to rest in your glory, for there is always someone waiting in line to knock you off the top. Be prepared to be challenged. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> I love you boys sticking by me. Motherfuckers. I lost a little bit of my sanity tonight. Oh shit. I mean, boys, we did that together, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was like team effort. Oh shit. That's all I get? Game over? For all that shit? <laughs> I mean, god damn. I did it. I mean, I did that shit. <laughs> I'll be okay. I just need some. I just need some light beer or something, you know. God damn. Shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. <sighs> well, I think I need some breakfast after that. <laughs> That's amazing. He played side at all at once. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. He hadn't saved and picked it up and threw it right side of the window, Silent Hill. I've got a story to match that. I used to go fucking insane on games when I was younger. But my worst insanity moment was um, was V-Rally on the PlayStation. And you have to save on your memory card, obviously. So I didn't realise that I had, didn't have a memory card above my, my connector port. Because you used to put the memory cards in above the connector port. So I'm playing V-Rally, played it for hours, still not realising I didn't have my memory card and I was playing it right through, thinking, I haven't saved this, but fuck it, I've got loads of continues left. But all my continues run out and I got right to the last, this is where I was, right? The last course on V-Rally is this like mountain course in the snow and it's on a turn bike like that. So you've got this chicane where you go really tight around it and I power slided all the way around it, took it perfectly and it was going down to like four, three, two, and I thought, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is, my, this is my last continue and I haven't saved it. And I thought, I better save it. And I looked down and I thought, oh my God, there's no memory card in there. And I looked back up again and I was just about to hit the finish line. 
and it just went <laughs> game over no continues left I'd spent about 10 hours trying to complete this game and I was on the last level the last corner literally at the finish line and it stopped and I didn't have my memory card to save it I had no continues so that was it and I just looked over at my mate Simon and he went Dave don't do it don't do it and I just went grabbed the place I would never do this now by the way I grabbed my PlayStation right <laughs> and we had a wall we were getting rid of at the back of the house which was just this giant wall we had this massive garden right and we were getting rid of this wall to make the garden bigger like on the left and I literally my, my bedroom window was like there I literally picked up the PlayStation I can't believe I did this I feel really bad about it and I I literally flung it like a boomerang and it went like that and it just went like that and it just it just disintegrated like that with just bits of metal and chips everywhere and I shit my neighbour up like because she was sat next to her and she went what the fuck was that like that and I just went ah, ah screaming at the window and she goes oh my god he's fucking lost his mind and I was like ah <laughs> Bob next door, he tried to come over. He goes, what, calm down, calm down. And I was like, I was fucking losing it, literally losing it. And Simon had to drag me <laughs> away from the window because I was like, fucking, I wasn't going to jump or anything. I was, like, I was going nuts. That's the first time I've ever done that. That was, sorry, that was the last time I've ever done that. I did. I beat him. Beat that son of a bitch. Yeah. But that was the last time I ever did that. Honestly, greedy, I swear, I'll never forget it, because I lived down near Bristol, and um, it was just on the outskirts of Bristol, so it's like a really busy place I lived in, where I lived, there's like, there's loads of houses around, and they must have heard me screaming in the city centre, it was just like, that was the only time I truly lost it, I, I lost it on Mario 64 once, I'll never forget it, I couldn't, I couldn't beat Bowser on the, the, the top level of the, the, the final Bowser level. And I must have tried it about, like, basically like that. I was on it for like, I must have been about six hours and I couldn't beat it. And I picked up the N64 controller and I just, I just headbutted it about four times. And I left an indent of the analog stick on the N64 controller on my head. And I had a bullseye on my head, just like the character bullseye from Daredevil. And it was like ingrained in my head. And I remember I went to school the next day. Everybody was like, what the fuck is that in your head? Because I had like proper 90s hairstyle with the curtains. So I used to try and hide it with the curtains. And they're like, what? Why have you got like a a, a, like a, 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 a bow shot in, your, in the middle of your head? I was like, well, you've got a bullseye in the middle of your head. I was like, I don't do that anymore, guys, by the way. I just, I just go, no, that was the first time I've lost it. I think, but, oh God. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. I actually got him. It's funny, isn't it? Like, games can make you go mad sometimes. They really can, because you get invested in them in so much, and you're like, I've got to do this. You have to complete them. If you guys have, I don't know if you guys have any uh, have ever tried this out, you, you, you probably would have, Cal. But I don't know whether Chris or Greedy, oh, Chris, yeah, you, well, you more might have tried it. The, one of the original old arcade games. Centipede. If you want to play a game that you cannot put down and you will want to finish, it's it's Centipede, right? It's just a simple game where the Centipede gives come down like that. It's basically like Space Invaders, but with a Centipede coming down. And it sounds shit, but it's not. It's one of the most addictive games you can ever play, and it's you can't put it down. I had it on the Atari, and literally, I used to lose my mind on that game. That was my first ever experience of like, oh my god, I can't stop playing this. That was like the first game that I truly got addicted to. The first time that it makes a game, I broke the guitar got to my brother's head. Oh wow, greedy that is fantastic. Greedy, that's amazing. Oh my god, was you alright? He cracked 
t- his brother's head. I just imagine you just going, ah, ah. <laughs> what the fucking hell is that? <laughs> yeah, Atari Centipede. Atari Centipede, man. That was great. And Joust, Solaris, Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man. Oh my god, I loved all those games. I loved my Atari. Pitfall, Pitfall 2. Um, that's amazing, Greedy. You cracked it over your brother's head. Holy shit. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I broke the console over my brother's head. I can't stop picturing that. The rest of the game I broke the... My brother had that face. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. That's really funny. Shit. Is he... <laughs> was he just sitting there? Was he just like with his controller like that going? And you just heard... <laughs> Oh my god, he's sorry. That's really funny. <laughs> oh shit, is he alright? Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Is he okay? Seriously, I mean that. Oh, sorry, it's really funny. <laughs> oh my god. He actually... Wow. Wow, oh, that's funny. That is brilliant. Oh my god, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I can't stop laughing about that, it's really fun. <laughs> Your mom's got a video. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> what console was it? Was it like... <laughs> Was it like an Xbox or something? Because that's so really heavy. <laughs> Holy shit, that's fantastic. <laughs> His mum's got a video, that's amazing. Okay, this is online now. And I'm fine online. Oh my god, a PS2! That's really heavy as well. Fuck me, no wonder he had stables in his head. I was gonna say, if it was a PlayStation 1 it'd be alright, because they're, they're quite light really, aren't they? Yes! Bit of Street Fighter 2. Uh, I'll give him a chance, I'll use Zangief. That sounds really cocky, I'll give him a chance, I don't mean that. I'll see if I can beat him with Zangief. Get in. Lucky for me, I got a slim PS2 and PS3. It didn't talk to you for three weeks. <laughs> to, to be fair to him, I don't blame him. <laughs> no, leave me alone, you bastard. <laughs> Mom, he's got, he's got his PlayStation. I'm scared. <laughs> That's fucking amazing, mate. Oh, such a funny story. <laughs> yeah, I got the I had the Slim PS2 as well. God, that, I had the original PS2 as well. So, like, seriously, greedy. I know what you mean. They were big, heavy bastards. They were. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, what the hell. Oh shit! Whew, it's lucky to pull that back. That's a brilliant story. I'll try a bit of Alpha 3. The second time I reached, my brother ran out of the room. Brilliant. Wow. That's the thing, consoles back in the old days, they were like really light. Like I've got the I've got the Pro down here, PS4 Pro, and the normal PS4, the base PS4. And like the base PS4 is heavy. That's a heavy machine. But the Pro is, that's a beast of a machine. That's like a, I'm just looking at it now, this is what I'm playing on now. And it's a heavy machine. My God, if that fell on your head, you'd be like, ooh. It's weird that the One X, I've got the One X as well, the, it, it looks, I mean, it is physically bigger, but it's actually lighter. Um, no problem, Cal. I'll uh, I'll jump onto your stream in a minute. Uh, Greedy, if, if you guys, um, and Chris, if you, if you guys want to jump over to his stream in a minute, because I'll be finishing off um, after one more game on this. And uh, I'm going to make myself something to eat and then I'll um, jump onto yours, Cal. And I really appreciate all you guys' support, I really do. I'm just waiting for somebody to play on this for one last game. Yeah, you'll, you'll love Cal's um, streams, Greedy. He gives away prizes and everything, so. Yo, Nooblitz, how's it going? Thank you for your support. Yeah, but, um, in fact, I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for staying with me. Oh, Edgar, how are you doing, buddy? I'm I'm literally going to head off now. I was trying to complete Street Fighter 1. Almost lost my bloody insane sanity doing it. It was just ridiculous. Um... No problem, Chris. No problem, Chris. I go through y your stuff quite often, actually. Um, but I'm going to head off now, guys. Listen, thank you for tuning in, and I appreciate you coming on, Edgar. Um, but yeah, head over to uh, Kyle's stream. He's always giving away prizes and everything, so... Okay, listen guys, thanks very much, and I really appreciate you being here and sticking with me through Street Fighter 1, and th thank you for tuning in, Edgar, sorry about that. Uh, Greedy, thank you for, for keeping us company, and thank you for your amazing story, it was amazing, I, I look forward to talking to you again, mate, yeah, that, that was so good. Uh, that's my pleasure, mate, thank you, and Cal, thank you very much, and Chris... Bless your heart, mate. I always appreciate your support. You're all brilliant. Thank you. Um, 
I'll head off now. So thank you very much, guys. All the best. Peace. I'll head off now. So thank you very much, guys. All the best.